Hello and welcome to a, another episode. Today we are going to look at how we might be able to use the book and quill along with the camera in Minecraft Education Edition. Okay, let's get stuck into it. So the very first thing we're going to need are these items. Okay, so the book and quill and the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E um, on my keyboard, which will open up my inventory. And at the search bar here, I'm going to write camera. Uh, we'll start writing it. And there it is there. So we're going to put that into my hotbar. I'm going to remove that. And we're going to look for the book. And oh, doesn't like it like that. But there it is there. But oh, it's a shortened version of Anne. So book and quill. So I'm going to pick that one up as well. And we're going to pop it there in the hotbar. So what we're now looking at is I have them down here so I can pick them up and hold them. And with the camera, you've got a couple of options here. And the reason why we're doing this is for documenting student work. So different ways of taking um, pictures. So if I drop down to the ground here, I can place the camera on the ground, okay? Um, and then I can use it from there to take a photo. And this is if I'd want to include my avatar to myself in the picture. So we just kind of saw an example of it there. But as long as I'm still just holding the camera, I'm fine as well. So I can just position what I want to see on the screen. So make sure it's centered. We'll see in a moment why. We click and it kind of comes out like that. It's a bit like a Polaroid. So you sometimes might have to, if you want the whole thing, I've got to stand right back. And there we go. So I put the whole thing in the image. Now for the purposes of this, you know, um, we've built this treehouse and maybe we need to explain our build and what we have done. So what I'm going to do is we're going to walk up to our treehouse and you know we've, we've built some spiral staircases here so maybe we will take a photo of that. Um, you know we've also built this little deck on the treehouse so we will take a photo of that. We go and you know the students also built this this um, this lever point here, which seems to be coming off. So if I just position myself correctly, I'm going to come out a little bit. There we go. And centered, take a photo of that. So I have three photos I've taken, but where have all these photos gone? We're going to see in a moment. So down in my hot bar, so right down the bottom there, I'm going to hit two on my keyboard to flick to the book and quill. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click to open the book and quill. At the moment, it's totally empty, but you'll see right down here on page one of two, there's a little edit pen. So we're gonna click that, and I've got a couple of options here. So um, here I can either kind of add a page, add a picture, you know, delete. But what I wanna do first is I'm gonna add a picture. So let's do this one first. So let's take the whole tree house. There it is, it will sit like that. I can write a caption here if I like underneath it. Or I can also come over here. So, you know, I might write here my uh, design. Okay. And then over on the other side, I might explain what it is that I've done. But we're just going to move on because we want to include the other ones. So I'm going to click over here. So I clicked on the little arrow, the book on the right hand side. And then I want to include my next photo. So we said the spiral stair, okay? So I might come in here and obviously this is going to be dependent on what you ask your students to build and the subject and the context. I've just kept it really super vague um, for this one, but I might come into this space um, and say my uh, design included a spiral staircase and then as a student, I might elaborate more on what a spiral staircase is and why I built that stair that um, um, spiral staircase, um, so on and so forth. I might also, if I want to as well, I might also include the materials I used and why I use those materials. And you can kind of get the general idea that I can go to the next page. I can include my next photo. Um, Maybe this one, if we were doing this from an engineering point, maybe a perspective, you know, gravity doesn't really quite work the same way for everything in Minecraft, but you can still encourage kids to think about engineering design. So, you know, um, we might include this photo and say that we've, 
you know, we've built this little kind of lever system that is, um, you know, has been built into the tree to support the deck. Um, and, and why did we do that? You know, this is all this inquiry stuff. But we get this general idea that we kind of are starting to build this book and we can just keep going and add more and more pages. But the beauty of the book in the quill is that it's an excellent tool for students to hand in their work for you. And I'm going to show you why that is. So down here, you'll see this sign button. If I click on that one, it's going to say, give this a title. So let's just say, you know, this was for Haas. Okay. And I might say Haas, you know, week, uh, week two or something like that. It's going to automatically say that it's by me. So it's going to, depending on how your system is set up, um, for, for our system, it's set up as uh, our first name and then the initial of our surname. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And then down here, I'm going to click on sign and close. Let's click on that one and you can kind of see if I move myself out of the way, let's put me over here, that my book is kind of shining and it's glowing now. It's because it's been signed. And what that means, so if I right click again, is that those editing options are gone, but I can still go through my book. Now, as a teacher, that's still pretty useless to you. You still got to, you still would have to technically go into their world to get this information. But what you can get your students to do is the next step is to export. So I'm going to click export and it's going to say here, you've called this Haas week two, Nathan R. Okay. And it's asking, where do you want it saved? Now for this purpose, I am just going to put it on to the desktop. So I'm going to go save to the desktop. And now if I actually go to my desktop, there we go. There it is there, Haas week two, Nathan R. I'm going to click on that and it will open. We're going to basically get this PDF version. Here we go. So let's open that up. So you can't do much about the fonts. They're kind of preset. Um, so that's my title that I've given it. And if I scroll down, here we go. So I've got my picture with my little um, caption that I put underneath it. And then, so if there's any blank pages, it will just kind of cut them out. And then I've got my picture of my spiral staircase, which is then followed by what should be my explanation of the spiral staircase, okay? And then we should then see the next photo and so on and so forth. So students are actually handing in to you a PDF document, which then you can then either print up or mark up digitally on the screen, instead of having to worry about collecting, you know, 30 worlds or having to, you know, necessarily get around the room very quickly and see 30 different students and get them to explain something as well. It's a really great visual way for them to include pictures of what they've built and also written uh, or typed explanations at the same time. Okie dokie, I hope you found that useful and we will see you again soon. Thanks guys.